Hi, I'm Jay Clark, Associate District Administrator with the School District of Holman. One of the questions that I've been asked about the referendum is how can the school district achieve no net tax increase if the three referendum questions are approved? The school district's long-range financial plan allows the tax impact of the three referendum questions to be offset by a combination of other debt reduction strategies. This chart will illustrate how the tax impact of the referendum and these offsetting strategies work in each of the fiscal years impacted. Referendum question one, two, and three are lift, listed along the left-hand side. You can see the impact on taxes of each of these questions in each of the fiscal years. On the far right hand side you can see the total impact over the combined two years. In the lower half of the table what you see is the offsetting tax impact of debt levy decline and debt levy defeasance. Debt levy is the tax used to pay off prior construction projects in the district. You can see how reductions in these amounts in both 2017-18 and 2018-19 exactly equal the tax impact of the referendum questions, resulting in a net zero school tax levy impact in both 2017-18 and 18-19. Many people have asked, how can I get more information about the referendum? There's multiple ways to do that. The school district website has a page set up to provide information, including questions and answers and trifold brochures on the referendum. There's also a place on the website where you can submit via email questions or thoughts you have on the referendum. That address is referendum2017 at holman.k12.wi.us. There will also be community listening sessions scheduled for Thursday, February 23rd at 4.30 at Holman High School, Wednesday, March 15th at 6 o'clock p.m. at Holman High School, and Saturday, March 25th at 10 o'clock a.m. at Holman High School. Please take advantage of these opportunities so that you can make an informed vote on April 4th.